Good evening and welcome back to Prime of Midlife. It's Thursday evening, <coughs> excuse me, and I have to say it is a tad chilly. I have had the wood burner on since I came home from work and it's still cold. Obviously it's warmer than it was but it's not heated up as quickly as I thought it would so I'm less than impressed. So I've just put more wood on the fire, um, opened the door to let the heat through the house so fingers crossed in the next hour or so we should be doing well. Um, this evening I am talking about organisational skills. Now if you've been watching the channel for a while you will you will know I am not very good at that. I'm really really not. Um, most things are on a wing and a prayer um, and thankfully touch wood a lot of them work out some of them don't Do you know what can I say you just have to try your best and see how you go on. However, I had a thought. As I said earlier this week, I am looking to do canning this weekend, to do pressure canning, um, which means I need to take the meat out of the freezer on Friday night. And I was like, yep, that's fine. I had a, a, wee, a wee thought today. That's not all you need. Where are your jars? Well, okay, so there's some there and there's some there. Where's your lids? As in the ones that seal. Okay, they're on the top. Where's the rings? Mm -hmm. So what I did, um, if you've seen my planner, ta -da! it has in here weekly meal plans. For every week and there's five for each month because we know some weeks have got five so what I've done is I've skipped the first two well skipped the first three because I don't very often use a weekly meal planner but I know a lot of people do like it that's why I put it in but what I have done let me see I did, did it I have changed this to canning and I've got my jars my lids my rings and my weight my, my weight for the pressure canner I need that before I start so that needs to be done. For my Mylar bags, I need the bags, I need oxygen absorbers, and I need to go and find the hair straighteners because hair straighteners are brilliant for sealing Mylar bags. But Kathleen has hair straighteners and I have hair straighteners. Mine are for the Mylar bags. This is my hair. It doesn't do it. It doesn't kink. It doesn't do anything. So I don't have hair straighteners apart from the Mylar bags. But Kathleen's hair straighteners are proper, proper expensive ones for her hair. Mine are the cheapest I could find. So I best not be using Kathleen's. And I have got no clue what mine look like or what hers look like. I haven't used mine for over a year. So I need to get Kathleen to tell me which ones are which. I need to actually go and find them first. So that's going to be fun. And I've also got for my machines, I need the bicarb and the vinegar and I need towels because... If <clears throat> things are going to get a tad problematic, I would rather check my machines now, like do all the cleaning, put them on a, a, a cycle with vinegar and bicarb in them, you know, boil wash the washing machine, get all the stuff out, check all the filters, etc, etc. So yeah, that was my thing. And I thought, I need to start being more organised because can you imagine me having all my stuff there on Saturday morning, all my meat, ready to go, all chopped up and like, right, okay, so I've got three jars, I need more jars, where's my lids, where's the rings, where's the weight for the pressure cooker? That would not have been sensible. So organisational skills are something I'm not, not best good at. But I have now, I'll probably forget this by the next couple of weeks like but at least just now I have realized that actually if you're intending doing something and just now is really a good time to be doing things like checking your window seals checking your machines checking anything because it could be that parts become more difficult to get or they take longer etc etc so that's my intention this week is to go through the house and like with a ticky list and go right that's that machine checked that's that machine checked have we got this? Have we got that? Um, have I prepped that? Have I stored that? Etc. Now, 
obviously I work full time. I get two days off. I'm going through to see Patrick and to do some shopping. I'm going to visit my mum. So my huge plan of what I'm going to do this weekend is never ever going to happen. It's just not. I, I can't fit it all in one weekend. So I need to have more organisational skills and decide what I'm doing this weekend. I'm full of good intentions. But then if I don't manage to do something, I need to make sure that I try and do it the next week and add whatever else I need to do onto the end so that I have a rolling list of things to do. That's the plan. <laughs> I mean, there's just not, not a hope of that happening. But the intention is there, so no matter how little I get done of it, it's better than nothing. So yeah, that's that's my cunning plan. And that's what I've been thinking about is, especially if you haven't done something for a while, you may forget the little bits that make it easier. Says her just thinking, where's my canning squishy thing to lift the jars? I need a pen. I need to write that down. Um, my pens are through in the sitting room. So I need to find my, my handle thing. And my layers, because I can double deck my pressure. See, it's all coming. I'm now thinking, right, where's this, where's this, where's this? Because I haven't used it in so long. And there's no point in standing there with a whole lot of chopped meat and no equipment. So, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. So we'll see how we go on. So now I am off for my cup of tea and to go and keep the fire stoked up with wood. Um, I think the chill is probably because the wind is howling. Um, and I even checked with Kathleen. She's on a late shift. She was just having a break. And I was like, is it just me or is it proper Baltic? And she's like, no, it's proper Baltic. I'm like, right, that's okay then. So I'm going to go and make sure that the house is all heated up for her finishing because she doesn't finish until 10. And in between times, I will drink tea and rest. Catch you later. <laughs>